Hi Cancer, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Cancer, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Cancer. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is an energy of someone who is emotionally available, a very emotionally aware and intuitive person, very compassionate and caring. And there's some sort of emotional connection here with this person. Um, this person feels it. They feel almost like spiritually connected to you. There's this energetic bond here this person is feeling and they're honoring it. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. So we have the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, and this is Earth Energy. Next, we have the Knight of Swords, Air Energy. And finally, we have the Full Card, Aquarius Energy. So there's definitely this energy here that someone feels very drawn towards you. They feel very pulled towards you. They feel it. It's like the, it's a feeling that it's not necessarily clear where it's coming from it's an intuitive thing and it's like this person it's like you guys are, um they can feel for you they feel very empathetic towards you and there's some sort of distance or separation and this doesn't have to be like uh foreign but it's 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 like you guys are not together or the, you know this person is feeling you energetically and with the seven of pentacles there's there's this energy of them starting to feel like they can't wait anymore you know there's this energy of um wanting to take action you know it's like this person is losing patience they feel like they need to pursue this quickly um they're ready to start something um they're ready to have a beginning with you with that um full card they want to dive in they want to take a leap of faith with you and with the um the knight of swords it's again an, an energy where there's it's almost like there's a, a sense of urgency around it for this person they're, they're losing their patience when it comes to this they just want it so badly that there's this energy of um they can't wait anymore um this person also this this they, they have a lot they want to experience express to you um this person they feel like there's a lot that needs to be said um they want to open up there's this very this is someone who has reached a point where they know what they want and um they're in a more assertive energy now because of this it's like they they're gonna go after what they want they're gonna initiate some sort of beginning and regardless of whether that could be a risk or not this person is doing it anyway because we have the full card which does show an energy of it's like this person has to take some sort of leap of faith or it's a risk that they're taking because you also have the seven of pentacles in the reverse but there's just this energy of throwing caution to the wind this person is just going for it okay so let's clarify these cards um cancer
Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. And this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So the Seven of Cups shows an energy of someone who's in the contemplation phase. Someone who is still uh, thinking about what next, where to, how to pursue something. It's a very, it's almost like a fantasizing energy. And with it being in the reverse, we're seeing someone here who's, it's almost like they're, they're, they're making some sort of contemplation a reality now. This is someone who's coming out of the contemplation stage and is making something more concrete. Um, they're not just generating ideas. They're taking action now. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups again, Water Energy. We have the High Priestess, Pisces Energy. And we have the Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy. So there is again that energy with the High Priestess. It's like they've been contemplating this. They've been, um, you know, there's this energy of them wanting to um, act on these feelings, on these desires. And they've, they've, they've held back for a while, but it's like they're coming out of that phase, that stage. They're coming out of an intro introversion. Um, and with the Queen of Pentacles, again, it's a, it's a solid energy. It's, it's like 3D. It's practical. It's material. It's, it's real. It's, they're realizing this opportunity. Um, this person wants to offer their feelings. They want to offer their hearts. Um, this, this, this is someone who is being led by their hearts. You know, it's like they're not playing it safe anymore. They're pursuing what their heart is telling them to pursue. And at this time, their heart is leading them towards you. They feel like um, intuitively, this is something that they feel called towards. Again, with the high priestess, we're seeing someone who feels an energetic connection to you. It's like a spiritual connection. It's, it's something that is, it quite transcends 3D. So it's like, it makes sense um, from a more spiritual level. It's, it's like this person is not necessarily going to be acting practical at this time they're being led by their hearts you know their emotions the spirits and um they are ready to you know take that leap of faith and initiate something here with you okay so um i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you cancer So the card says, luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. So there is, again, this is that energy of someone who is taking a chance, you know. They're very optimistic. They're going for something and they're taking that leap of faith. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you, Cancer. So the card says, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Okay, so this person feels like it's it's time. They, they, they're ready to put their heart on their line. They're ready to um, transform a connection that is very felt, very 5D. They're ready to act on that um, connection in the 3D to make it real. Um, this could even be someone who is having dreams about you. There's this energy of a spiritual connection that they are ready to embrace, you know, to pursue physically. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Cancer. So the card says, Penny, prosperity and compassion. Prosperity depends more on wanting what you have than on having what you want. Okay, so this person, they see you as a treasure. They see you as a gift. They see you as a source of prosperity. This person sees you as abundant, stable. And there is this energy of feeling like you guys are meant to be together. Um, your dream to this person. You're, and it's like they want to make their dreams a reality. This is someone who you may be connecting with. They may be connecting or seeing you in their dreams. There's this energy of them feeling very spiritually pulled 
pulled to make a move towards you. It's like this person feels it intuitively and they're going to act on that intuition. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing for you, Cancer. I hope you have a really, really good day, Cancer. Bye, Cancer.